Welcome to this short video on how to set up a spam port. First thing you need to do is locate a switch that you want to monitor. So this switch here, it's got my internet connection connected to port number one. I didn't plug my laptop or any other device that can accept a packet capture. Plug that into another free port on that switch. So I'm going to choose port number 15. So port 1 is my source and port 15 is my destination. The other bit of information I need is the IP address of the switch. So manage switch, let's get its IP address. Now we need to configure the switch. To do that we need to telnet onto the switch. If you don't have a telnet client, just go into Google, type in uh, P-U-T-T-Y download. Select the first option here. Download the executable. Then run that file, you don't need to install it. Type in the IP address of the switch. Make sure 10 is selected. Click open. And we're now asked to log on to the switch. So I type in the password that I set up on that switch. And then go into enable mode, just type in. Again, we need to put in the password. And we're now logged on. Let's go to configuration mode, so CONFT. And we're ready to set up spam port. There's two commands used to set up spam port. The first one is monitor, session one, source, interface, and then the interface um, that we want to monitor. So earlier on, um, I identified the port number one on that switch. It's where my internet connection is, and that's what I want to monitor. Then we type monitor, session one, destination interface 0 slash 15 and that's where I'm going to plug my laptop in press return on that that seems to be set up fine so just get out of the configuration mode by typing in and to confirm that it's set up just type in show monitor and let's take a look so here's session 1 We've got the source port on 1, the destination port 15, that looks good. So that's our spam port is now set up. If you have any questions about setting up a spam port in your switch or about packet capture in general, please email us here at support at network.com or also you can visit our website where there's a lot more information around packet capture and network forensics tools. Thank you.